Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some tips on rendering, how to use HDI maps to make really nice lighting uh, setup for your rendering. So here's a few rendering images. So these are just the same uh, same model shot in the same uh, viewport but it uses different HDI maps HDI maps are just different environment maps that uh, that has different lighting um, information so so these are for image as you can see some of them has a different look and they look pretty realistic and aesthetically pleasing as well so okay so I'm going to show you how to use that okay so I have a uh, product here and I pick material I use a number of materials I, I use the glass material to create, create that um, uh, cr create the translucent look so advanced glass if you hover over them there's the clear blue brown and green so I apply that to these parts and you don't see them here but they they are there so I don't know if I can show non-shaded view but all right so what you need to do when you render, you're going to pick a scene. So let's say um, I pick a scene that resembles what you want to make a look at. Now I'll create a copy of that scene by pressing that button. And it will create a new window. In here you you go to lights, pick environment, and here you load the maps. You can get a range of maps from this net, but um, I found this this um this website that has this person named Suntech he shared a number of free HDO maps that you can download so one of them is this page it's got a lot of good stuff here and also another one is the studio link as well yeah this site has some good maps as well but what you do what you need to do is just download download those maps just put them anywhere in your desktop or wherever you like. I have it here, unzip the file. And one of the maps, which was this one here, free, free HDRI pack one. So there's some sample pictures. As you can see, the, the different HDRI map has different effect. So what you do, you download those maps and you go to lighting environment and you just load those maps here and just find, go to the folder and find that folder that you have. So, so I'll just pick one of these. So the file should have, um, have the file format .hdr and you just pick them and click OK and just do a render. I'll just, just put on draft to keep it quick. Okay, so this one has a nice pink effect. Um, doesn't look that uh, that good, so just play around, learn another one. Some of them are really nice. I'll, I'll just pick this one here, it's number studio number 15 load them in it looks like that click OK and let's go render so this is the result the the little hat bit turned out really well looks very realistic and I'll try one more I'll just go scene again light environment and I'll show you number 10. Number 10 looks pretty nice. Number 10, where is that? 10 HDR, click OK. So that's what the room looks like. We go render again. And here you go, this one actually turned out really well. I like how 
the highlights are showing on this picture. It's really reflective, looks like a glass material and looks nice and clean. So you can use this picture for advertisements or any any image on the web or anything you like. So that's pretty nice. And also be aware it's also a good idea to turn turn the the few settings in in the properties make sure you turn the shade quality to about 20 and also put on edge quality to very high to give it a clean uh, clean edge to your model rendering but that's the tip for today today everybody make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, and tell me what let me know if you need any any other tutorials anything you'd like to know and learn about Creo or any other design and technology um, areas. That's it for today guys. See you later. Bye.